Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here, this is Jason and welcome to yet again another Minecraft tutorial video. And I'm in Minecraft 1.17.1 and I'm on the Java edition right now, and I believe this will also work for Bedrock edition as well. Now I think this video will be enjoyed by many creators out there. And anyone that likes doing, you know, creative projects or building custom maps and stuff like that. Because I've actually got within this video, I've actually got seven crystals that you can use in Minecraft without any mods whatsoever. That is right. So no data packs, no resource packs, absolutely nothing. And there are seven crystals within this collection. And as you can see right here, we've got the Amber Crystal, the Amethyst Crystal, Jade, Jasper, Ruby, Sapphire, and Topaz. And they are very useful and you can place them wherever you like. And you can even place them on other blocks and stuff like that. It's very, very cool indeed. Now, if you want to see more Minecraft content, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss anything. Now, you might be wondering how these crystals even exist in the game without any mods. Well, the secret behind these is these are actually custom player heads. That is right. So as you can see, they are exactly the same as a player head but they have a special skin on them that make them look like a crystal or a gem within the game right here. And I just really love the colors and the variety and you could actually include these on in many different builds and other things like that. As you can see, you can place the gems on the side of blocks as well since they are actually uh, player heads and you can place them in any orientation that you like and technically you can place them on top of each other as well so it is very very cool and also I think the drop of them as well looks really nice as well if they are dropped as a item slash block entity. Now in order to get these you only need one command block in order to do it. Now in the description of the video I am going to give all of the links to all of these crystals. So there should be seven links in the description of the video and you just have to pick which of the crystals you want to do. And basically that will actually give you a web page that will tell you what command is needed for the command block right here. Now, just so that you can actually get a command block, if you need to get yourself a command block, just do the following command. So slash give at P and then Minecraft colon command underscore block. And this should give you a command block. And then all you need to do is pick the crystal you want to do and then we can be ready to put it into the command block. Now, the reason why we need to use a command block is actually the command itself is so big that you can't just type it in the text field of the game. You actually have to spawn it in using something like this so that you can actually access the item. All right, everyone, I'm now on one of the pages that are going to be in the description of the video. And as you can see, this is the Ruby Crystal. This is minecraftheads.com and they have lots of custom player heads available, but one of the collections are the crystals. And as you can see, we have the Ruby Crystal player head right here. Now, in order to get the command, what you need to do is you need to scroll down and there's going to be a section that says Minecraft 1.16 plus and this will have a command inside it now all you need to do is press the copy button which should highlight the entire command and then right click and copy so you just need to copy whatever is highlighted within this field it's quite a big field as you can see there's quite a bit of data inside but all you need to do is use the copy button and select all of it and copy so that you have the whole command in your clipboard ready. All right, everyone, I'm now back in the game right here and we are now going to try and actually get our crystal right here. So I'm gonna get rid of these old ones and we are going to try and spawn in the ruby crystal. So all you need to do 
is place down the command block and you're going to need some redstone like a lever or something like that and you then right click into the command block and because we've actually copied the command previously, all we can, all we need to do is control V or paste into this field. So whatever platform you're on, you just need to paste the command into the console command input field. And once you've actually done that, the command is actually set. And if we then right click with the lever right here, you can see that we now have a ruby crystal that we can actually place down however we like. All right, everyone, that's about it for this small tutorial. I thought it would be pretty useful for people that like to do creative projects with various other things in Minecraft. And it's a very big plus that this is something that you can actually get without having to have any mods installed on your game. So you're able to do this technically within vanilla Minecraft, even though you do have to use a command block. Unfortunately, you can't get these in survival mode, but you can get them, you know, in creative mode or if you're making a custom map or doing a creative project. Honestly, even if you spawn these in for a survival mode, it's not really gonna give you any advantage. It, you can just use them for decoration, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, then a like on the video would be very much appreciated. And if you want to see me on Twitter, then please follow me on Twitter at Draki Series, or my Twitter is in the description of the video. And if you want to see more Minecraft content like this, or Minecraft mods, Minecraft Redstone, Minecraft Seed Showcases, all kinds of different content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I hope to reach 10,000 subscribers as a goal, so if you could help me achieve that, then that'd be absolutely amazing. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully you have fun with these crystals and by all means, send me some like photos or some pictures of you using these crystals in some kind of build. I would be very happy to see you guys and all of your creative powers with these crystals. But I will see you next time. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.